Newfoundland, Finland, the country where I quite want to be. Your mountains so lofty, your treetops so tall. Finland, 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 Finland has it all. Finland has it all. Suggested to come along by my friends, really. Also, Kai, the hitchhiker that I picked up earlier today, also suggests same road, and I think I see why. Is alongside of a lake. This part of the it is alongside lake, but not only on the one side. Is lake on the one side? You can see 
It's like almost an archipelago. You can see up here how it looks between the Punkaharyu, which is down here on this map, and where we came from. We have to go over uh, bridges between islands. There is even one way here, which is very thin road all the way coming down, all the way down there, number 15. Going all the, just over very thin strips of land through to Punkaharyu. Behind this you can see already this lake here is frozen over behind the trees and although it's still early in the afternoon looks like late evening because this is the very north part of Europe not north of Finland we still technically in southern Finland but of course in European terms it is a northern area this is Mr. Sp His Royal Spikiness the Volvo I call him that because Volvo is from Sweden which is a which is a, 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 a royal country but here is the little spikes on the wheels which enable me to do the snow driving on white roads like this without the problems For example on this side lake and on that side huge great big lake and the two this is not very frozen here because it's the bridge and the two join together that side is almost not frozen and here we have plenty of information how to go around the place here so this is the really end of the light this road is called 4792 and it's got it's that really thin one we saw on the map then back a minute ago we got call of this big lake here on the one side we are together with the other road on that side and it goes down this whole stretch just a very thin land with just lakes on either side very interesting road probably one of the interestingest roads I ever went down this is why obviously I will be a little bit late in Lipiri because I don't want to really cut short my pleasures just for a fight with Neon Rabbit Jr. So if you are probably already there because it's the time now already and I'm supposed to be there but I'm having too good of a time here. So I will go there later. If you're still there then we will fight. If not, well I'm very sorry you waste your money but uh, probably you enjoy Finland as much as I do so it's not the worst thing that could happen. And you can meet me if you want if you don't meet me today, you can meet me another place. I will give you the details where you can meet me next time. It will be equally as distant, remote and wild as this place and expensive to get to, but that's all the fun, isn't it? So you can see very nicely on the both sides. Now it's not so see on this side, it's more see on this side. The beautiful forest. It's one thing to go this way in the summer and it's another to do it in the bleak midwinter with the frosty wind making the mornings. And this is it, we up in the high and on the both sides is a sheer drop down to lakes on either side. So it's built up, not much room for even to pass with the car on the other way coming. But on both sides is the lakes. Just a thin strip of built up land like a ridge. And along that ridge this road, the 4792 here in Finland. It's one thing to go this way in the summer and it's another to do it in the bleak midwinter with the frosty wind making the mornings.
turned up all the interesting greenhouses there and the greenhouse in the traditional sense. But we now turn up onto the 4794, I think they call it towards Kerimaki. Now Kerimaki sounds like something what you could get in a sushi bar. But in fact it's something completely different. You will see in a minute, I'm just going to keep a surprise. But in a minute you will see what is there. It's the biggest of a particular something in the whole world. And I'm just going to keep you guessing for a little while before we get there. Here is Kerimaki signpost, showing that we're getting into the district of Kerimaki. It's about 14 kilometers still to drive. I won't talk all through that, obviously.